Alrighty, so I made this video ages ago about like comparing ramp test, FTP, like FTP test, so ramp test, 8 minute test, 20 minute test. So I've now done a ramp test, um, finally, because I've actually got to use first time ever using Smart Trainer, because uh, my dad has Turbo Trainer, so use that, use the Smart Trainer, Tax Flux, I believe it was, um, borrowed that for a little session to see what my ramp test was, and then wanted to compare that. So first we're going to do what I've done before, just 8 minute test, twenty. so the three main tests, 8 minute test just two times eight minutes with a 10 minute rest in between, you take the average of those um, and then multiply that by 90% to get your FTP. Um, and then I'll talk about FTP in a minute. And then 20 minutes is just take 95% of the 20 minute effort. And then ramp test is 75% of your best one minute power. Mm -hmm. FTP correlates roughly with your steady state lactate effort, which some people say is your hour power. It's not actually defined as that. It's just like where your lactate's the same and it helps to set your zones if you didn't know. So anyway, we'll, we'll go through, compare the first two. So this is, um, Last year when I had some numbers, so FTP does 333 watts, 62 kilos. Um, so that was obviously in March. Um, so you can see the two efforts here. First effort, 372 watts. Second effort, it says 359, but that's because this last bit massively under-recorded. Um, but anyway, it was, if we if we took the rest of the interval, it's like 364, which works out to be, um, what it was, 333 watts. And then, obviously it's a little bit later but in may so my training was roughly similar so i don't think my ftp had gone up i did 350 watts at 61 kilos which um if we get out the little calculator um is is roughly the same i mean 332 so you know more or less okay maybe this one overestimates i know it might do because i'm quite I'm better at vo2 than longer efforts but even so so i, I roughly say these are similar ish and i trust both so obviously now um my fitness is a lot less but i did a ramp test so if if what i always do um is if i'm going to do efforts i like to do so normally what i do is i have a tuesday so just finished a big block 16 hours have monday day off tuesday hour easy uh, maybe you know a minute of what i think my 20 minute power is going to be maybe three minutes of what my 20 minute power is and wednesday do the test obviously my my bike sort of blew up and i had to order some gear cables and recable and stuff so i didn't have that so i rode my mountain bike for a bit did an easy out and then did the ramp test so obviously ramp test um i will give a caveat that it was stuck in my 11 because the bike shop decided to cut my cables they were checking it and cut my cables so I put in the 11 which i really didn't want because i wanted it in the 28 because i knew there could be some issues so if you if you look at the beginning of the ramp test it's 200 watts but that's literally because i couldn't get it lower because if you i didn't realize this until after but on like a smart trainer if you're in the 11 it just can't give small enough resistance for you for you to actually hit all that so obviously this is an ideal because it means you're doing like 200 watts when you shouldn't really be so that could have potentially be why i underestimated it i also didn't have a fan but so obviously you know it's going to be lower but if we look at my last minute power that's 356 watts which is um again 356 times 0.75 is 270 watts I mean, that's just bollocks. Um, there's no other way of saying that. I mean, I've done a 20 minute test. Um, here it was February the 17th, and it was 297 watts for 20 minutes. I was 63 gears. Uh, weight is, I'm, I'm a bit fat at the moment, but we're trying to, we're trying to work on that. Um, so anyway, like, that's, that was me, and I was like, well, that's just rubbish, isn't it? Like, I'd also say the other thing is like the cadence is quite hard. Like, you can see in the last bit, like, it said to keep on copper what like it's harder to put power when you're at 79k and so it's like 100 so i didn't find it, the whole thing very good to be honest i wasn't a fan of the ramp test maybe you know if i had to be as working was in like a 53 like 15 or something like you know halfway up the cassette might work better um definitely would have worked better at this i mean i was in the 39 level which i thought was quite a small gear but clearly isn't um so anyway my mate and also maybe i had a fan but so in terms of just using your ramp test number like, if you're just going to go to lab, do a ramp test, go out, I don't think there's any point doing that, really. Um, we're going to get into this a little bit more. So here's 20 minutes, full gas, a block, as they say in French. Just um, a classic little lad. Um, always thinks it's a bit of euro. Um, but anyway, so here we go, 307 watts um, for 20 minutes. So, obviously, it was, I, on my Garmin got 308. I'm going to say it's 308, because well, it just makes the numbers a bit easier. But anyway, 308 watts was um, what we did. So, obviously, that... It's going to give a way higher FTP of about 293, which is what we expected because I, I'd done some decent numbers in training. It was actually lower than what I expected, but you know, what we'll, we'll, it is what it is. But therefore, you can see immediately what my conclusion is going to be. Obviously, n equals one, not a big sample size here, but I still think it's useful to think about like there's no point doing a ramp test 
unless you train indoors, in my opinion, or you're used to training indoors. Like you have to do some of it. Like there's no point like doing all your intervals outdoors and then doing a ramp test and setting your power numbers. I just do not understand the point because it's just not the same. Like, it would be like me doing all my intervals at 60 cadence and doing my ramp test at 90 cadence or something. It's like, well, that's irrelevant because you, you not, can't repeat it. I mean, that's for me, I always find it hard to do more power inside. And for the four people saying like, it is the same power. You can see it's not the tax flux power. This is on my, from my Wahoo. So I had a, the Bluetooth done on my phone to do the tax thing. And then I was just using the power from my phone. So sorry, my, the power from my Wahoo. So it's my info crank. So anyone wants to use my stages, that stages boy is gone. So um, on the info crank, which should be, should be accurate. It's seen as, I mean, British cycling, a lot the lads use it. So it should be, should be all right. But yeah, so should is the ramp test useful i think it is because it means you don't have to do a 20 minute test which is pretty horrible it is better scientifically as i said before because it rules out all user error unless like you're an idiot and can't do it properly which i think i didn't do it 100 percent um but at the same time is there any point doing it if you don't really ride inside anymore i don't really see any point i always think like the 20 minute test is 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 the gold standard in my opinion or obviously well probably an hour test is but who has an hour road i mean unless you literally live at the bottom and want a fat out to do an hour climb i don't see any point again doing like an hour test like where you're gonna find one um <clears throat> and some people use like the normalized power for an hour which i also think is stupid because like my normalized power i can do is way higher than what i could actually average um but anyway so i think yeah the 20 minute test is pretty much gold standard in my opinion um eight minute test does the job as well but <clears throat> i'd say well especially for me like anaerobically and from the vo2 max level i feel like i'm a lot stronger than that so it could potentially overestimate it a little bit but <clears throat> sorry my voice is terrible um so yeah i think ultimately it's the gold standard if let's say you just ride indoors all you do is just do training road all day every day and just do that then yeah obviously a ramp test um because that's going to be most scientifically accurate. It will be the most accurate and it will give you all your numbers. Um, obviously, there's some assumptions because they used a large data set to figure out that 75% is your FTP. I can't see any papers on it. If anyone does have any papers saying about this, then let me know because from what I could see in other ramp tests, they do use a completely different formula. Um, they like the whole way they do it. They spent longer in each level and stuff, but we can get into that in another video if people are keen. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, it's interesting about FTP, but yeah, numbers are going up, which is good for me. We're at 307, and this time last year, we were at, well, 350 watts. So, you know, we're 43 watts off, or 40, 42, I'm going to say, because it's 308, um, which isn't, yeah, I mean, it's quite a lot, isn't it? But I think I haven't trained much, so hopefully, you know, we've got a big five weeks coming. I mean, from my last test, you can see here, like, my last test was the here, but I had, like, two, I was, I did four hours there, which some people was going to say big, but then I had, like, ages off and then i did 13 14 16 so i did basically had a three week block and gained like eight watts on my ftp so can't really complain about that to be honest can you so anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy oh you got any more thoughts about ramp tests or anything else if you want me to do another ramp test with my gears working i could could fit that in at some time obviously fan i don't don't have a fan so like not ideal left out of uni unfortunately so not good um maybe that would help but i feel like unless i had I was behind like a jumbo jet i would be too hot just because especially in the uk i just never sweat properly unless it's like really hot like you just don't get used to it so yeah it's all a bit alien to me but anyway cheers for watching and i uh, will see you in the next one eh?